But oh isn't all in all, isn't that the whole point of the joke? Like. Maybe he's not clever enough for it actually to be a joke, but that guy obsessing about it kind of makes it a thing. It's fucking hilarious. You know, which segue, isn't that why the banana kind of came a thing? Is because everybody fucking obsessed about it. Are you talking yeah. about the recent uh, Art Basil banana? In, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, December yeah. About this, a, December this last year. Depending on when we released, we had the Art Banana about a month ago here, which made yeah. pretty a lot of news and art news. Typical it, modern art bullshit. Kind of a uh, somebody See, got got with a banana. It's great because with the with Crucible Gallery, we we kind of follow a lot of artwork coming in and out of uh, galleries and a lot of artists and everything like that. I I can't even name any other pieces that I've heard about coming out of Art Basel this year. No. Like that this is straight up the banana story. Yeah. That, that's pretty yeah, much yeah, it. Yeah. And it, it's great because it starts like every, every single day there was like a new story about it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just a one time story. It was every single day there was some great, amazing thing that happened with this fucking banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which a guy ate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which everybody played into, though. You know what I mean? It was like the most talked about thing there. And if it was just a kind of a joke that was holding a mirror back to the art world, then like well, that, that's everybody a, got got because they were all taking that's exactly, selfies against it and being like, oh my God, you me, I'm to be. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. For those who don't know, basically this guy who he hasn't shown work in years and it's a European gallery with an artist from Italy that decided to bring him in. Do you recall his name? I can't remember offhand. Mm -hmm. Is it really important, though? It doesn't matter. Okay. He basically considers himself a comedian artist. Well, that wasn't that the initial title of the Bananas was The Comedian? I think so. Yeah. And basically, they they convinced him to come show with at this, uh, at the uh, art fair. And he rolled into town with basically his book bag of clothes. And that was pretty much it. And then was like, oh, yeah, I probably should do something for the show and stopped at a fruit stand on the way in, mm. bought the th- bought three bananas Just playing in by ear. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. No big deal. We're going live. Rolled up with uh, three bananas, a roll of duct tape and just taped them to the wall and then was like uh, one hundred twenty thousand per banana. Yeah. Do you think Gallagher saw that and lost his shit? <laughs> yeah. He just like wanted a comedian he, with fruit. I've been doing this for my whole life. It would have been great if he showed up and just smashed it with a just sledgehammer. It. Yeah. That would have been better than some schmuck just peeling it off the wall and eating it. Yeah. So, what's your opinion on that? I, get- I fucking hate all this. Like, I just wish that that whole thing would just burn it's down. It's a publicity stunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and of course, it's just but like that's like the no skill part of art. You know? It's oh, like, yeah. yeah. He played the crowd, man. It's like the only thing I that mean, people I guess were that's a skill, it. but it's also just a gimmick, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, it's it straight hook. up as a gimmick. But I saw so many artists all week long, like artists that have, we've worked with that I respect and everything, posting about this guy that's just like, oh, man, fuck this guy, fuck this guy. And all that does is bring more attention to that guy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then, but then the part that disappointed me the most is so it got eaten. Well, it got eaten. <laughs> Somebody's response on what was it? So Art Basel is, is there anything that really sort of rivals what that is? It's like a gigantic like I mean, trade show for galleries, would the, you say? The L.A. Art Show. One, one sentence breakdown. Yeah, the L.A. Art Show is also probably up there. Yeah. Sort of on that. Sort of, okay. Not, I'm sure there's a few shows like that. Kinda. Yeah. The, the thing about Art Basel is that it gets confused a lot with is that there's actually like four or five art shows or fairs that go yeah, on yeah, at yeah. the same time. Mm-hmm. So there's Art Basel and then there's like four or five others around it. Yeah. All yeah. taking place in Miami at mm-hmm. the, the exact same time. Yeah. It's like a citywide show it's like a yeah. whole weekend so throughout, everyone like, always confuses the these little like sublets that are part of other things uh with with art basil and it's not it's something completely different but they just accept it and publish it under that you're not familiar with art basil and you've watched velvet buzzsaw it's like i was just about to bring that up yeah is that and it's just as painful yeah. that's a great movie though because like if you hate pretentious bullshit like that then all those people get murdered. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> it doesn't go well for them. Yeah, but like all these artists, like that. So like it's, I don't remember what day of the week it was, but it broke basically on like on a Monday. And every day there was something about this this banana all week long. And then Thursday or whatever, this banana gets eaten. 
And all these artists that I've actually worked with and uh, respect and everything were all like, dude, glad this banana got eaten. And it actually really bothered me, honestly, that that so many of these artists were so excited that the fact that this thing was destroyed. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think that this was a, a work of art by any means, but had it been, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like my paintings, not everyone understands. Not everyone gets it. On the other hand, do you think if the cameras weren't on Matthew, would he have destroyed Mark's stuff that was all just sitting there since it was yeah. the bane of his existence, basically? True, true. But, I mean, it, at the end of the day, somebody who, like, I don't get the whole banana concept, but to him it was a work of art, or mm-hmm. to somebody it is a work of art. You know, whether it's we consider it garbage or whatever, who... We, it doesn't give us the right to actually go and destroy it. You know what I mean? If my painting's there and somebody looks at it and goes, oh, that's bullshit, does that give them the right to stab through the canvas yeah, yeah. and just cut no. it out and be like, fuck you? I think there's a big difference, though, between work that you actually put some effort into. Right. And then... I, I'm just breaking well, they, it. I see what you're I'm, saying. I'm just oh. breaking it down to as, as simple as possible. You know what I mean? Right, right. Somebody considers both of them works of art. Why does one get to be destroyed? But what happens when it rots? The, okay, the interesting thing that I found in looking into the banana is that you weren't just buying a banana with duct tape. You were buying the specs on how to show <laughs> the specs of a, a, bana- banana. a banana with duct tape at your gallery. That's essentially what you're buying the rights to is like, so the guy didn't just go up and throw a banana on a canvas with a piece of duct tape. Like there were actual a certificate of authenticity as well as plans on how to show, which those galleries who purchase now have the rights to sublet to, to smaller galleries. And like, it could be the whole traveling banana with duct tape. thing. <laughs> like, it's just str- like, but the best part is also, I've never known that about that. That's how galleries deal with like three dimensional installations and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So but every I, time you see like, Oh, blank by so-and-so like that, that artist X didn't come in there and actually paint it. They might've hired people to paint it to the specs that they purchased from them, you know, but Which also separate all from all, that, that kind of interesting. It also came with a disclaimer backwards. though, that this, this is a living object yeah so we can't we can't guarantee the length of its lifespan we can't guarantee the the amount of time you'll yeah, actually yeah, be able to yeah. enjoy this work of art but you will be able to enjoy the tax write-off from it yeah no oh, that was the joke i was making that since it was so close to the Wander end of the year money it was like yeah somebody just burned a black like, uh, fluffed up a uh, hundred grand off that one here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's the best part is that he sold them for he sold two of them they were each sold for one hundred and twenty thousand yep, dollars, and then yep. the third one got the eaten. rights to show a banana <laughs> in your gallery. Yeah, is what was sold. The rights, and then yeah. the rights went up. Like he saw the market. I think the next art show we have here, we should just tape a banana up on the wall. I feel like the bananas played out. Maybe like a watermelon, and then have Gallagher, Gallagher show time. up. See, I'm thinking more pineapple for when the drunk people. Fuck you! You don't do that to pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> They deserve better. What's funny about pineapples? <laughs> when some drunk person decides they want to pet the pineapple. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's it, guys. So, oh, and then also in response, okay, the guy that ate the banana, hashtag that my art installation is guy eating banana. But if he was serious about having guy eating banana as a three-dimensional or art installation, he would have had the blueprints set up on how guy should eat banana. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but the best best part in all of that is uh, so he literally could have sold guy eating banana as an art piece at Art Basel, but he didn't have the fucking best paperwork part, set up. Best to do part it. in all that though, they had the banana replaced on the wall within like less than ten minutes. They yeah. said. Oh, and I'm then, sure he bought at least a few bananas. Oh yeah, yeah, but. They so don't come in singles usually. That, There's always ridiculous. money in the banana stand. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like two days after that, some dude came up and trashed the wall and wrote, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, in giant letters. Because that's not, because that hasn't been played out like 800 million times. And it, the best part is, he then gets arrested because he vandalized 
the gallery wall. Well, keep in mind that was a very, very recent thing that happened. Like when true the whole banana gate was going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was uh, also the whole Epstein thing happened. True, right around yeah. that time period. So this guy gets arrested Do you for think that. They coincide. Ooh, is that how he died? He choked on a banana. The banana killed Epstein. Or is this how Trump starts a war? <laughs> <laughs> so this because we're debating bananas. This dude writes it in like lipstick. He doesn't even write it in anything good, and uh, ends up getting arrested for it. And he's the one who was actually charged with crime. The guy eating the hundred and twenty thousand dollar banana, he didn't get charged with anything. It's obviously staged, then. Yeah, you know. And uh, so now he he actually, I was reading an article. He had appeared in court like a week ago. And he's facing like all these criminal charges for vandalism. And he's reaching out to the guy who ate the banana and was like, hey, you, you should come down and talk on my behalf. The guy who ate the banana was like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with you. <laughs> fuck you. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with you. So what do you guys want to do for the next episode? You got any ideas? So what artists are you dying to learn more about? I don't know. Like we got talking about Tim's Vermeer the other night and I'm kind of thinking I want to jump into that. And uh, since we're hot off the trail of uh, Mark Landis here. Yeah. Just, art, uh, art documentaries. Yeah, yeah. Cause we could cover Vermeer and that. Maybe we could throw the same a thing. exit through the gift shop in there also. Oh yeah. Else. That'd be a good one. Like a, I didn't even think about that. That's mm -hmm. awesome poking jokes at the art community and stuff as what was it mr brainwash <laughs> yeah <laughs> yo i remember seeing some of his work at galleries in san francisco with like a 15 20 thousand dollar price tag and knowing like that's how, it and well like how he makes them and stuff that he just prints off almost like what's his nuts we were just talking about but hire a graphic designer and then just sort of spray paint on top of that and he's calling like it an original his, piece. yeah he's like 50 percent of the way to being jeff coons <laughs> The bane of Bam. We'll get existence. to that guy. We'll get there. Bam is going to get there. Brandon I'm really looking Mark forward Landis. to. Uh, I'm really looking forward to ripping apart a bunch of modern art people because <laughs> I just yeah. can't stand. I can't stand it. I, I don't mind certain contemporary modern artists. It's the whole gimmick thing that that's when yeah. it becomes becomes too much for me. Yeah, that's the main problem with me. I just imagine they're Frank Reynolds. When he goes into the gallery. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. Derivative. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Wait, now this. This I like. That's just our uh, air conditioner. Th sir, that's an air conditioner. Um. <laughs>